The importance of emergency food and water storage. In today's increasing uncertain world, it is essential to be prepared for unseen events and emergencies. Natural disasters, pandemics, and social unrest are just a few examples of situations that can disrupt our normal routines and access to essential resources like basic food and water. This video will provide an in-depth look at the importance of emergency food and water storage and offer a few tips on how to start building your own supply. The The necessity of being prepared. Being prepared for emergency is not only a smart decision, but also a very responsible one. Ensuring that you and your family have access to food and water during times of crisis can be the difference between life and death. Moreover, having a well-stocked emergency supply helps elevate the burden on already strained resources during a disaster allowing aid organizations to focus on helping those most in need that weren't prepared. Assessing your needs. Before starting your emergency food and water storage, it is critical to assess your specific needs. Factors to consider include the size of your family, dietary restrictions, and personal preferences. Additionally, you should think about how long you want your emergency supply to last. Generally speaking, it is recommended to have at least a two-week supply of food and water on hand. Storing your food. When choosing food to store, prioritize items with a long shelf life, such as canned goods, dried foods, and non-perishable items. Diversify your supply with a mix of proteins, carbohydrates, and healthy fats to ensure a balanced diet during an emergency. Additionally, consider investing in a vacuum sealer or mylar bags with oxygen absorbers to protect your food from air, moisture, and pests. These bags can be used to create a small individual portions also, making it easier to access and consume your stored food without exposing the entire supply to potential contaminants in the air. Storing water. The average person needs approximately one gallon of water per day for drinking and hygiene purposes. Therefore, when planning your emergency water supply, aim for a minimum of 14 gallons per person. Store your water in a food grade containers away from direct sunlight and heat sources. To keep water quality, replace your stored water every six months or use purification tablets to extend its shelf life. Storing and organizing your supplies. Proper organization and storage of your emergency food and water supply are essential to ensure easy access and prevent spoilage. Keep your supplies in a cool, dark place such as a basement, closet, or under your bed. Organize items by expiration date with the soonest to expire items in the front to make sure that they are consumed first. Label each container with its contents and expiration date for easy reference. Emergency food and water is a critical aspect of preparedness that should not be overlooked. By assessing your needs, choosing long-lasting food items, and properly storing and organizing your supplies, you can assure that you and your family are better equipped to face an unexpected emergency. This investment in your safety and well-being can offer peace of mind and serve as a vital resource during times of a crisis. Being prepared is just one little aspect that you can do in the food and water that you need on a daily basis for you and your family to survive 
any situation. I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope you all stay safe. You keep prepping. And until next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side.